YouTube. Yep, yeah, it's been a minute, man. It's been a minute, but you know, um, uh, this is good news, man. This is good news. Danny Garcia versus Keith One Time Thurman. So you got Danny the Swift Garcia, DSG versus uh, Keith. One time Thurman from uh, Clearwater, Florida. Uh, unification match WBC champ Danny Garcia versus WBA champ Keith Thurman. It's going down, man, which is good, man. This is good. This is, this is primarily good for, you know, um, Danny Garcia. Uh, his His level of competition hasn't been... Um, all that great, you know, with the raw sockles and stuff like that. I don't think anybody will ever let him live that down that fight with the raw soccer. But raw soccer wasn't all that bad because he beat Meza Clay, uh, not too long after that. You know, uh, it's just that raw soccer, you know, he, he wasn't on that level, man. And Danny did what he had to do, man, he just took care of him, kept moving, and then, uh, Mauricio Herrera, um, he's forgotten, man. He he didn't he you know he didn't do anything to redeem himself after that loss to Danny Garcia, did he? He didn't. So uh, Danny Garcia gets um, a decision over Lamont Peterson last year. Uh, beats up Paulie Malinaji and gets a UD um, versus Robert Guerrero uh, earlier in January this year, the 23rd. So, uh, long story short, man, he got Samuel Vargas. That's got, that guy's coming up. He's coming up on November 12th. He's supposed to be, you know, I think this is kind of disrespectful. Call him a tune up fight, you know? This uh, fighter's coming out of Colombia. It's coming out of Colombia, y'all. Colombians have some good fighters, okay? This guy's not a big puncher or anything like that, but this dude's coming out of Colombia. Um, we saw what happened to Amir Khan when he faced Brady Prescott, and nobody knew much about him, okay? Even though Brady Prescott pretty much almost had like a 90%, if not a 100% knockout ratio going into that fight, but... Nonetheless, you know, um, we we don't know what we're getting with uh, Samuel Vargas, you know. So um, it was uh, in an article, Boxing Twenty Four. I, I, I want to believe it was you know L A Times. It, it was um, it was one of those uh, articles saying it was like a tune up fight, you know. So I know I've seen it more than once. I just thought it was kind of disrespectful to. Um, Samuel Vargas, you know, but yeah, March 24th, Keith Thurman and uh, Danny Garcia is going down. A lot of people been critical of Danny Garcia. You know, I like Danny Garcia, very consistent, very methodical. Um, as far as the prediction and stuff like that, I, I don't think I want to get into it right now, man. I don't want to get into it right now. Um, both the fight fighters are like, but I think the unification match. Is is great, man. Cause a lot of people were saying a lot of things about Danny, man. They was talking about um, who was it? I think it was Dilltown, you know. It's calling all kind of names and stuff like that. And then the fact that Danny wanted to go against who was that? Uh, was it Andre Berto or somebody like that? Yeah. That name was being thrown around and stuff like that. Hold on. Yeah, man, Andre Berto's name was being thrown around as a potential bo- opponent. Um, I think Andre B- Berto was a way better opponent than Samuel Vargas, but unbeknownst to us right now, uh, the Keith Thurman fight was already lined up. So, um, yeah, it would have been well over a year since uh, Danny Garcia would have fought if he had, like, skipped fighting uh Samuel Vargas and just went on to fight Keith Thurman for Keith Thurman to be about like what nine months but Keith Thurman needs to rest rest man he needs to rest uh the Colazo fight 
uh, Robert Guerrero fight, even the Sean Porter fight, they they haven't been easy fights for him. He's been getting kind of dinged up. Um, you know, you know, I jokingly made a statement and said, you know, one time is gonna be like, man, you, you know that that moniker, his little nickname, one time, is gonna be referring to. You remember that one time I used to knock dudes out, you know? So yeah, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, you remember that one time? That's why they're going to start calling him one time for that, man, because it's been a while since he just got, he knocked somebody out, you know. But, um, but it's whatever, man. It's whatever, man. Um, he, he's undefeated. Uh, he, he, I mean, he's, he's been knocking guys down, but he has been knocking them out. And you got to think about it. Keith Thurman is an amateur, as an amateur. Was fighting at one fifty something. I was like one fifty, one fifty one or something like one fifty two or something like that. So he says he's like a true welterweight, but technically you can make a good argument that he's a true junior middleweight fighting at welterweight. I guess that's what he meant to say, but you know, true welterweight. And so, and that's pretty much what he said, man. It's the, you know, and that's what I like about Keith Thurman. He doesn't, he doesn't, um, you know, beat around a bush or assault insult anybody's intelligence. You know what I'm saying? So, but um, yeah, maybe maybe that's what it is, man. He's just weight draining himself to make weight, and that's why he ain't getting the knockouts. You know. Um, that he was getting like early on in his career, cause you know he stepped up a level of competition and stuff like that. So, and then he's getting a little bit older now. You know he's pushing thirty. You know he's he was twenty seven years old. Um, let's see, let's see how old he'll be by the time he fights Danny. Mm, yeah, by the time he fights Danny, he'll be twenty eight years old. You know. He was 28 years old. I don't know what he's going to do at uh, 154. But as of right now, this is a good move for Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia. Um, whoever wins will be a unified champion at one, um, you know, 147. Uh, I, I would think that would make a good case for that person being like the uh, a lineal champion. Even though no one's beating Floyd Mayweather, he he doesn't plan on coming back. But um, if he does, it would be nice to see him go against uh, a lot of these young guys. So here's the thing. Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, the winner becomes a unified champion, okay? Which will leave two other belts hanging out there. That's the WBO. Uh, currently, Jesse Vargas is defending his belt versus Manny Pacquiao. That's coming up late in November. And you got a vacancy. You, you, you should have a vacancy. It's not vacant yet, but eventually it should be a vacancy at, at the IBF. You know, Kell Brook. He, but, you know, because Kell Brook has a broken eye socket, man. You know? He's not going in there with Earl Spence. And then I think Eddie Hearn was talking about Fighting somebody else like Amir Khan or something like that for a big money fight. You know, th- that's what Kell Brook's on right now. He ain't worried about the IBF belt. I mean, I think this is holding the hostage right now, man. Earl Spence should be fighting for that belt next year. Most definitely. It's unfortunate he can't get it on and, and pop him right now. But it- it's whatever, man. So, with that being said, man... Um. Whoever comes out to Victor Danny or Keith Thurman, hopefully by maybe the the fall or maybe August or something like that, July of, of next year of next year, excuse me. Earl Spence would have been had a belt, you know, you know he's got the IBF belt, Jesse Vargas, um, or Manny Pacquiao, either or. Will you know be in play maybe the following year? I I would think Manny Pacquiao would want to go ahead and you know fight the unified champion or whatever like that. Get it on with that guy, especially if it was like maybe like Danny Garcia and whatnot, because he's trying to get that money and he, you know he's no spring chicken man. He's getting older and whatnot. So, 
But anyway, man, it was good, man. These guys are fighting each other, man. It's, and, you know, a lot of people are knocking on Al Heyman, you know. Excuse me, a lot of people are knocking on Al Heyman, but, yeah. I'm pretty sure they're thinking, like, they're probably kicking themselves right now. But, you know, you, you know what's going to happen, man. They, you're going to have these guys going to bring out their ledger and stuff like that, bring, bringing out their Excel, you know, spreadsheets on the computer and stuff like that and start crunching some numbers. You know, you got a lot of guys that are accountants and they got the MBA and, you know, in finance or something like that. I don't know, it was YouTube finance. I don't know, I, I don't, I don't know what university it went to or anything like that. But they're gonna just talk about how, you know, see, you know, uh, PBC, the premier boxing champion, boxing championship is just losing money and stuff like that. You know, that's all they're gonna do. So about, oh man, he's losing money, yeah. But you know, it's this fight. You know, look at the ratings and stuff like that, especially right, right after the fight. You know, so, um, yeah, this fight, man, it's it's not for the haters, man. It's for the appreciators. You know what I'm saying? It's not for the haters, for the appreciators, you know, to appreciate guys that appreciate boxing, you know, and, that's, and stop call, counting uh, another man's dollar, you know. You can't do that, man. You count another man's money, you worry about another dude's money and stuff like that, you, you know, you end up broke, you know. It's a good chance you might end up broke counting somebody else, man, just worried about your own money. And uh, I was telling a couple of other guys that, man, because, you know, I'll make another video. One of my guys from Chi-Town, you know, Adrian Granados versus Adrian Brona. I'm going to have to speak on that, man. I'm going to have to speak on that. But, yeah, man, you know, um, you know, dude's worried about what he's doing. And I was like, man, it doesn't matter. Um, especially, you know, you know. It was. I think I mentioned it before, man. Um, you know, he had, he had a few guys. You know, they got a beef with, uh, you know, Al Heyman because of what happened with Golden Boy and stuff like that. But I was saying, like, dude, man, this dude is like a lot of pumping a lot of money, you know, with these Latino fighters and stuff like that. But yeah, you know, like I said, man, I'm gonna say that for the Adrian Granados, Adrian Brona uh, video, getting up on that, man. You know. But, um, yeah, man, you guys let me know what you think, man. Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, man, any of you guys got any early predictions? I know I was a little bit winded on this one. Uh, long video, whatever like that. I mean, you call it a rant or whatever like that, man. But, uh, you know, for, for guys that love boxing and stuff like that, uh, some of these videos can't be, uh, long enough, you know what I'm saying? So, man, uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all later. All right, bye.